What's up everybody, Curtis Townsend here, welcome back to another video, and finally, New Japan Pro Wrestling is back. Uh, it's back with the New Japan Cup from tomorrow, uh, actually as I'm recording this, they have a show today as well, which is about to start in about a uh, few minutes, so uh, yeah, um, I'll be turning that on once I record this video. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's not waste any time and head straight into my predictions. Alright, so as you just seen, I put the bracket up of what I think will. Now I'm going to go into a bit of detail. Not too much detail on the first round matches, because a lot of them are very predictable. Like this first one, Togi Makabe versus Yota Suji. Obviously going to be Maccabee. I don't see Yota picking up the upset. Same with Tomohiro Ishii and El Desperado. I'm a big fan of Despi, but he's not getting past Ishii. Yano versus Jado, of course. I'm going with my boy Toru Yano. Um, uh, Honma then versus Hiromu Takahashi. I can see Honma picking up the win, but I also don't see Hiromu. Coming out in the first round, of course, when Romu is the junior heavyweight champion, and yeah, I just see Romu picking up the win over Hanma. Uh, Kazuchika Okada versus Ghetto, and of course, if you know what about New Japan, you know Okada and Ghetto's history together, so I'm excited for this one. But of course, the Rainmaker is gonna beat his former manager in Ghetto. Yuji Nagata and Minoru Suzuki, one of the matches I'm looking forward to the most in this first round. Big fan of Nagata, love Suzuki, and that's why I have gone for Suzuki over Nagata. But this is definitely one of the matches of round one for me. Uh, Uemura then versus Kanemaru, I've gone with Kanemaru. Gabriel Kidd versus Taiji Ishimori, I've gone with Ishimori. Big fan of Gabriel Kidd though from his days in WCPW, so uh, I'm happy to see him in New Japan. Of course, he is a young lion from the American do uh, in the dojo, but um, yeah, he will. I think he does have potential to be a name going forward for New Japan once. Of course, he's completed his process in the dojo and gone out on an excursion. All he is a good wrestler, so he is someone to keep an eye on. I think him versus Ishimori. Has potential to be a, er, to be one of the best matches of the opening round, but it's hard to call because of course there's Nagata and Suzuki and the two matches that I'll get to next. But um, yeah, Gabriel Kid, someone to keep your eye on. Hiroshi Tanahashi against Tai Chi again. This match, very good match. This one can go either way, but I've gone for the ace of New Japan here in Hiroshi Tanahashi. It could, it could be Tai Chi. I can see Tai Chi winning it, but I've just gone for Tanahashi. Same with the next one. Kind of like how their partners are facing off into the one before this. This one I can see going either way. But I've just gone for Kota Ibushi because, I don't know. Now that I think maybe I might switch one of them, but I'm not. I'm going to stick with Ibushi and Tanahashi, but... Saber and Taiji have a very high chance of winning. Like these were the two hardest ones to call for me, but I've just gone for Ibushi and Tanashi because I'd like to see the tag team champions face each other in the second round. Uh, Taguchi versus Sonata. Big fan of Taguchi, but I don't see Sonata losing that. Again, I, I'm a big fan of Show, but I also don't see him getting past Shingo. Shingo's awesome. Big fan of Shingo, but I really like Show as well. It's probably my favourite out of the two Rapungi 3K guys, but um yeah, the dragon Shingo Takagi is gonna get the win. Tenzan versus Yoshihashi again, another one that can go either way. I've just gone for Yoshihashi. Yo versus Bushi again. I can see Yo picking up the win, but Bushi's my boy. And I've gone for Bushi. Uh, Kojima versus Evil. I love Kojima, he's a legend. But Again, I don't see him getting past evil. And then Hiroki Goto, Yujiro Takahashi. And again, Takahashi, one of my boys. But he's not getting past Goto. Goto is one of the best. Um, they could consider him Mr. New Japan Cup. He always has a great run in the cup. Of course, never wins the big one though. But um, 
yeah, have gone for Hiroki Goto. So that is my first round predictions, and then we'll get into my second round ones. Alright, so as you would have seen from the graphic, uh, my round two predictions, but I'm gonna like keep showing the graphic and going back to like some Fire Pro gameplay of one set matches, like I did for the first one. Um, just so you can like pause and have a look through and then I'll kind of explain why I think that and I know I kind of said this at the start of the other one but I just um, let say it. yeah I'm not kind of repeating myself but um, yeah I just want to like say that's how this is working uh, Makabe and Ishii I've gone for Ishii which should be a decent match Yano versus Hiromu I've gone for the Yano win Many people might see that as an upset, but yeah, I I just love Yano, and I I love Hiromu as well. But I've gone for Yano. Yano is gonna steal his way into the next round. Um, then we have Kazuchika Okada against Minoru Suzuki, and of course that means a S Okada win. Then we have uh, Kanemaru versus Taiji Ishimori, and I've gone for Ishimori to beat Kanemaru and advance to the next match, or the next round of the cup. On the other side, the tag team champions collide Ibushi and Tanashi, which will be a brilliant match, possibly one of the best matches of the cup, if this is what we get. And I've gone for the ace, Hiroshi Tanashi, to pick up the win. Shingo versus Sonata in the battle of LIJ. I've gone for Sonata to pick up the win over Shingo. Yoshihashi versus Bushi. I've gone for Bushi, which may be surprising, but um, yeah, I've, I don't know why. I just wanted to go with Bushi, <laughs> and that's what I did. Evil versus Hiroki Oto, which has a not uh, potential to be another. Um, Stealer like tournament stealer to great wrestlers and I went for go to pick up the win over evil to advance on so um yeah that is it for round two let's continue on and continuing on into the quarterfinals we would have um. From my predictions, it would be Tomohiro Ishii versus Toru Yano. And I'm going with Yano. I know if that's a shocking one. I Ishii probably will win. But I'm going with my heart on this one over my head. And um, yeah, I've gone for Yano to be Tomohiro Ishii. I wouldn't be surprised if Ishii did beat Yano. But as I said, gone for the heart, not the head. And then, of course, I've gone for... Uh, Kazuchika Okada over Taiji Ishimori, which will be a fantastic matchup if we get that. And, um, yeah, uh, of course, the Rainmaker goes on to the semi finals with that win. Over on the other side of the bracket, I've gone for Sanada to advance over the eighth of New Japan in Hiroshi Tanahashi. Um, that might be surprising, but. Um, yeah, I've gone for Sonata, and it will all make sense later on why, uh, which kind of just by <laughs> uh, some stuff, but um, yeah, and then of course on that side, um, from what I predicted, it would be Bushi versus Goto, which Bushi's run will come to an end when he comes up against Hiroki Goto. So, um, yeah, that would set up semi-finals of Okada and Yano and Sanada and Goto. Yeah. And then from, as you've just seen in my bracket, I've gone for Toru Yano to advance over Okada. And I went with my heart again on this one. I just love Yano. And I'd love to see Yano get the miracle run. 
get the upset victory over Okada, stealing it out from his Chaos stablemate to go on and advance to the finals against Sanada, of course, who would then be victorious on the other side over Hiroki Goto. Again, like the issue on this, uh, Okada probably advances here, but I've gone for Yano just. Just for that shock factor of Yano beating Okada and Yano going on to the finals. And I just, I would love to see Yano in that position. But as I said, he probably won't even get past Ishii. And if he does get past Ishii, I'd be very, very surprised to see him get past Okada as much as I wanted. Sonata versus Goto on the other hand. It could still go either way, but I'm more confident in my pick of Sonata. Um, so yeah, you can probably see where I'm going with this one. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into my predictions for the final. So uh, yeah, as you've just seen, the dream run for Yano comes to a crashing end. In the finals, when he is defeated by Sonata, um, yeah, again, I've gone for the sensible option in the finals, and as much as I'd love to see Yano go on to win it, um, I think he'll lose to Sonata in the finals, and he'll set up his big G1 win, so he can come back and take the belt off Naito, or whoever's the champion, in the dome, but, um, yeah, I've gone for Sonata in this one. I think it's the sensible option to win the whole tournament. Like, I was looking at the whole brackets and I was like, mm, where do I see New Japan going? And it's hard to tell because it's been months since they've had a show, so it literally is a restart. So they could go in any direction. Anyone could actually win it, really. But, um, yeah, I've gone for Sonata. Maybe because it's the first big shows back, they might go with Okada. But I, yeah, that, and like that's the main reason I went for Yano because it would be a big shock for him to be Okada. And like with the restart, maybe this cup could be used to help elevate someone else. And Sonata has been at that level, just below the main event. He's just been knocking on the door. He's had main event matches against Okada before like he is on that level where he could become one of the aces one of the pillars of new japan going forward into the future so like it's really hard to call and like that's why i've gone with that direction i've gone for sonata instead of one of the bigger names even well sonata is like still a big name but like not instead of like one that established top guys like your Okadas and your Tanahashis so um yeah that's the main reason I've gone for that and I just think I went for Yano in the finals because that's what I would love to see and I think it would be a bit of a shock factor and like everyone loves Yano I don't see anyone online that ever has a bad word about Yano everyone loves him so um why not just have him have that like upset run and have him like get the win over Ishii, get the win over Okada, and then just come crashing down, uh, and defeat just when it looks like he may be stealing the cup. Uh, Sonata is able to find a way to put him away. So um, yeah, and of course then that sets up Sonata to face uh his stable mate in Los Ingobernables de Japón in. Uh, Tetsuya Naito, which will be a fantastic match, and from a yeah, so that's what I predicted again because it's maybe because it's a restart, it might I can see them going to Okada, but again, I went for these predictions just to go for something different, really try and like to try and not go for the obvious. When maybe the obvious is the right way to go. This, so, like, yeah. 
It's kind of me predicting what I would like to see happen more than what uh, with a mate, bit of what I think would happen next in. But um, yeah, I probably am wrong on the whole Yano thing. I think I'm onto something on the right side with Sonata. But I've went from my heart over my head for that um, whole left side. Um, we like I can see Ishi and Okada beating like Tana er, Yano. Like if Yano was able to get past Ishi, Okada would beat him. Like I probably won't bet on Yano. <laughs> I'd probably bet on a Sonata Okada final. But as I've said, I've gone for something different. And uh, yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below what your predictions for the New Japan Cup is. Who do you think will win it? And who do you think will be the surprise package like I have Yano being? Um, smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already as well. And I'll see you in the next one.